I'm back at the Speed River testing the mic and the uh, it's pretty much the same uh, the same um, the same tripod I had before only this one I got uh, it's less smaller it's called uh, Gorilla Gorilla Pod SLR Zoom and it's pretty hot today so so I got my uh, micro microphone on the top if you remember I tried it before it didn't work and then uh, one of my viewers suggested I needed a different cable for some reason this Panasonic only works with uh, SP7 um, from this uh, road it's an optional accessory and I got that one so basically the circuitry inside this Panasonic is kind of like in a smartphone and so I had to use that one and I was able to uh, choose my option for the mic as a Now we're shooting of course with the uh, Panasonic Lumix 300 it's a bit heavy so I found that recently I tend to use uh, when I'm shooting outside like static scenes I tend to use my uh, LG phone you know because I got uh, I got a little see this one right beautiful shoots up to 4k of course the audio you need to use a special crazy adapters to uh, uh, shoot good audio but it's very light because like probably I don't know how this guy Casey Casey nice that he uses uh, he uses uh, check this out and now he's using uh, 80d and he keeps breaking them all the time right well, the spring is in full swing. I forgot I was uh, talking with the uh, with a shotgun mic on so you probably didn't hear what I said some girl just went for a walk some young girl and she was kind of like looking at me and looking at me and smiling and this huge setup I have like you really you really stand out you know when you have a camera like this uh, basically it's hard to keep a low profile you know I don't know when I use a GoPro, uh, when I use a GoPro or LG G4, it's of course much easier. I think this is the camera more for people that you know shoot inside, like you want to put it on your on your desk or something. Oh, check this out! They're probably they're getting ready for a wedding or something. Over here.
Okay, let's go check out the other side. Oh, I have to cross the... It's my Mazda over there. Yeah, I gotta cross the, the street. And then we'll go to that spot where they usually film uh, weddings. And today's Saturday. So hopefully we'll see uh, a wedding with some very unhappy bride and a pregnant groom. Uh, I meant unhappy groom and pregnant bride, of course. And people, people ride bicycles all, all over town. Shorties. All right. I guess it's time to switch off the camera because people start giving me some dirty looks. You know? I wonder, you know, honestly, I, I wonder how this guy, how this guy Casey does it. He carries a similar setup everywhere. You know, That's crazy. That's where the brides, that's where the brides jump, you know. Hold on, let me open my... I gotta see what I'm doing here. Come on. I meant to say that this is where the brides jump over there. When something goes wrong with the wedding, so... people <laughs> people do look at me funny you know like, why what's wrong you never saw a camera before come on and it's not that expensive you know actually you know what once when I was filming like last time over here I was standing over there and there was a guy carrying a canoe he was carrying a canoe and this thing was closed. There's a lock in there. See? This thing was closed with this lock. Can you see it? Yep. And the guy just the guy just threw his canoe over there and then climbed over and went and dropped it in the water. And Nobody saw him ever since. A magical place you know when you're getting married kind of like the last glimpse of freedom you know before you get locked up in a house with kids so beautiful and then behind me we see a whole bunch of people there's a bunch of uh, benches over there you can sit, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, over there, behind me. And you can sit there and enjoy the, enjoy the view.
Okay, nothing more to see here except maybe this combination of signs. On the one hand, it says uh, this area is reserved for weddings, and over here it says by permit only. <laughs> uh, so if you are disabled, you're out of luck. You cannot get married here. This is, this is really cool. People come here with kids. Now one thing I noticed when uh, crossing the street, uh, if I'm holding this camera in my hand, people are much more careful cutting me off, you know? Because they definitely don't want to run you over when you have a <laughs> video, <laughs> video camera running. So highly recommend it. It's kind of like a personal dash cam, you know how people have dash cams um, in vehicles? So I think everybody should I think everybody should carry uh, a camera like this, maybe a bit smaller, to prevent accidents at uh, dangerous, dangerous intersections. screwed up my my seat oh boy now, I, now I'm in all kinds of trouble show you guys the other the other setup which a bit more more uh, user-friendly this is little Manfrotto this is like 20 bucks so you can probably get it for like 15 on Amazon like little Manfrotto thing and then I got this uh, bracket so it has a, a tripod connector at the bottom it just screws in in there and then this top thing, hold on, let me show you. Yeah, this top thing goes up, so it has a spring, it goes up like this. So you can put a phone like this. It's pretty hard to do with one hand, but basically, yeah, like this, right? And then you can push this button and change the change the angle yeah. and I would say this is if you want to do like a simple YouTube videos you know this is really handy uh, I also use it I also use it for uh, for my uh, GoPro but then I add a little uh, kind of like extender because you want it higher like this one it's pretty good it's pretty high this uh, tripod I like it it's See, I'm holding it now at the very bottom and I can see it's right at the level and I can see my face on the screen. So yeah. So shot with the Lumix 
and some very strange ball hat uh, that I just got from uh, Amazon and it's kind of funny on the name as you know it's always not always but maybe sometimes with Amazon like the name says one thing but when you actually get the unit like on the side like I ordered it said Sanyo S-A-N-Y-O which is uh, I know that brand you know they make electronics right but when I got this one on the package it said uh, Senio and then the model number but on the actual ball head there's a picture of a guy with a tripod and underneath it says bikey b-e-i-k-e bikey so that's the actual brain name but it seems to work fine and it adds a bit this much uh, height to this gorilla pod tripod so uh, it's pretty heavy like the tripod is less than a pound probably 300 grams this uh, ball head is uh, is one pound probably 40 grams all right last thing I'll Can you see it there? Hello! Shooting a movie. Yeah, that's my ball head over there. And that's the mic. That's my setup. That's the setup I'm using. Alright. Now it's time to go grab uh, something to eat. Probably go to Boston Pizza again. I don't eat pizza. But these guys have something that very hard to say no to. You know, I'm not a vegetarian. I eat pretty much everything, but I try to do more more protein and less carbs because that's how you can keep your weight in check after 50. And um, but these guys have a pizza called Mediterranean Mediterranean pizza. I don't know. I think I can, uh, I can, I can sell a country for the pizza. You know, thin crust, artichoke. You can choose the type of cheese. Don't get me started. All right, Boston pizza. Here I come. 